Hey folks, this is Master Rath, and uh, this is my 200th video on this channel. I know, 200 videos now. <laughs> Go figure, eh? So, um, I've got a little bit of a let's play quickly to uh, show you, so, um, yeah, let's get on with this. So, welcome to my next let's play quickly. I've got a nice cheese bap here. Ow. Oh. Welcome, folks, to um, Let's Play Quickly Super Fantasy Zone for the Sega Genesis, in fact. Let's check out the plot, even though the plot is extremely long. Okay, we can't check out the plot because it's in Japanese. Great, okay. Basically, um, the holiday behind the story is that the. Uh, the world has been sucked into a sort of a black hole universe called called Menon, I think. Anyway, at this space center thing, the screens turn into weird evil wolf signals, and this one guy goes nuts. I'll try and translate it as easy as I, you know, as well as I can. Yeah, but anyway, that, that guy goes nuts, and cities were, um. Turned weird, and and, and 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 then that happened. Sucked in residents, and left in return. Pipe bomb. Well, more like TNT actually. Anyway, the story of Opapa, the son, the father of Opa Opa, decides to try and save his own con decides to save his own universe from the evil of Menon. However, halfway through, he basically just got owned. Watch. Owned. So yeah, um, they found him and they took him home. And as you can see, he farted. Bad case of flatulence there from Opapa. Opa Opa, the son of Opapa, horrified by his father's death, now goes to the fantasy zone to defeat the evil force men and once and for all. Okay, folks, this is, I think, I think this is the third version of the Fantasy Zone series, and this is the last one. I'm sure, no, we're not seeing a demo. No demo. Good. Right now, uh, I'm not that good at this game. So we're going to go rapid fire on that essential. Five players, easy mode, because I suck. Also, the use of save states is back. Oh, yeah. This is Picnicker, the first uh, incarnation here. And yeah, it's a it's a game where you gotta shoot flowers. Isn't that nice? And you get money, money, lovely money, and and weird, yeah, weird toadstool things with humongous penises. I've always thought about, I've always thought that those toadstools were just toadstools with humongous dicks. Can't tell me I'm not right, because I am. Whoa. Ah, big dick toastal. Oh god. Aha, pwned. And basically the idea behind this is to get money. As you, as you saw, you saw a shop back there. Uh, which I don't think we can get to now. Um, but basically in that shop you can buy stuff. Oh god, you're dead. Whoa. Sorry, folks. This game gets uh, more difficult as the game goes on. It's 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 not going to be like this forever. It's not going to be like this easy forever. Don't worry. Yeah, but basically, you've got to destroy all these flower things. Uh, they're not always flower things. Different levels determine different things, and uh, then you will fight a boss, which is coming up right now because I've just defeated all of the uh, flowers. Yeah, you got to feed ten of the flowers and then take on this humongous pumpkin thing. Whoa, nearly. Oh, ha. and he died on the pumpkin thing. Dang it! Screw you. That's better. Yeah, I need getting used to this game, but you know that's fine. You guys be on for the ride. Anyway, once we beat him, we get loads of money for it. Let me get the ones over here. Yummy! Okay, gotta go through the um 
Well, actually, we're going to go into the shop first, because this is a nice uh, point to uh, basically be allowed to talk about the game a little more. Um, yeah. The directional buttons moves your character around. Um, the A button um, fires your special, which is anything um, here. Things like smart bombs, heavy bombs, hurricane, thunderbolts, backfires, ultra bombs, and shower bombs. Um, the B button fires your ordinary um, attack, uh, which can be anything uh, here. You got five to choose from: wide beam, laser beam, twin, uh, not twin bombs. You got four to choose from, actually: a wide beam, laser beam, uh, seven way, or a cross rang. Um, and the C button fires your bombs. Your bombs will either be twin bombs or quartet missiles. Quartet missiles are near, near enough essential in the game. They are homing missiles. They are very good. We're going to buy some big wings. These are basically to increase your speed. Watch out, by the way. Uh, the more speed you get, the more difficult it is to control your character. And we're going to get... In fact, we're going to get a wide beam this time around. Be careful with placement of what you're going to get because... Yeah. Also, the extra ship is an extra life. And they will go up in price every time you use it, so watch out. As you can see, the wide beam, very useful, and the quartet missiles, also very useful for anything that might get in the way. As you can see, we are now replaced with weird cauldron things, and these. The wings are already making it a bit tricky. Whoa. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna shoot you. Uh, you dead? Well, you will be dead. See, the quartet missiles are one of the best uh, items in the game by far. Because, well, they're just that good. They are just that good. You know, they can, they can, they can, you know, they're, they're, they're homing on enemies, so you're not going to get hit. Well, sometimes. It doesn't work all the time, just saying. Right, and we're on to boss number two, which is, well, this thing. The trick behind this thing is to get past the lasers, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. And once you've got a little bit of an, a segue where you can't get hit, that's when you've got this match won. See? And then do that. Keep shooting. Basically, this boss will die once all of its shooty things are all uh, gone. So I, got, so I haven't got many to go now. Whoa. Nearly killed myself then. That would have been smart, wouldn't it? Now we've got one left. You dead fool! Money! Do, 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 do. Oh, I nearly got all of it. Right, we're in Niagara, which I'm guessing is a play on Niagara Falls. Just saying. Okay, we are going to get the seven-way, in fact, for this one. Because we've, we've got the money to buy seven-way shots. Seven ways, you can see, really useful. As it can fire at everything. So, yeah. With a seven-way shot, you basically aren't going to get hit, really. From the front and from the back, you're fine. Do, 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 do. As I said, they don't last the entire level, so you've got to be careful with what, how you use them. I like to use them until they're spent and then just finish the rest of them off. The bosses get more difficult, by the way. For example, this boss is a bit of a pain. Yeah, it's all about salvaging, getting money. There's a pencil, by the way. I always thought it was a pencil. I don't even think it is a pencil. You know, I mean, this game is made by Crack Addict, so I'm not sure. Might be a pencil. I mean, they've got weird dittos coming out of the thing. Right, one more. Do -do -do. Wow, that's a lot of money. Thank you very much. Kill him, thank you. Yay! Right, boss time. This one I always have problems with. It's the floating mechanical fish in the air. Which has two attacks. It likes to try and suck you in, 
Remember, if you hit it, you die when it does kill you in this game, and it fires shells at you. So you gotta watch out for both of them. And as you can see, the boss changes colour, uh, determining on how many times you've hit him. Uh, the more redder they get, the closer you are to killing them. So we're nearly there, actually. Ha! Ah! Yeah! Do, 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 do. Dang it. Right, we're in a risk game now. Do, 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 do. Right now, Risk Cave, you're going to need one of these, uh, super lights. Lovely. We're also, for this one, going to get a 7-way again, just in case. Yeah, basically the super light increases, uh, how much you can see, and that's going to be very useful. This is, whoa. Alright. It's a magic up. Kill it before it lays eggs. I'm being like one of those irritating troll things on Facebook. You know you are. Well, that was sure cheap. Alright, I'll take that death. Luckily, the shop comes back. So we can go to the shop, and we can get our big... Actually, no, I'm not going to have big wings this time around. I am going to have my quartets, though, because my quartets are lovely. And I'm going to get the uh, life I lost. And that'll be all. Don't really need anything else. Yeah, it's essential in this level to just keep firing. Keep firing your quartets as well. Whoa! Okay, that's a that's a near enough death. Can't get that bit of money, but we can get this one. Ah, money. Pony hit in the face. Pony in the face. Money, 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 money. money. Yeah. Oh God. Now we're gonna finish this off. Is there any more money? Nope. I'm gonna moonwalk. This is the boss. This boss is a bugger at times. There he is. The problem is that I can't even see the shells that much. I seriously can't see the shells that much. That sucks. This is what you need your quartet missiles for. I think I'm doing quite well since I really can't see the shells. As you can see, the uh, the arms do uh, get more ferocious uh, as you kill him more. Ah! You dead! That failed. Okay, we're on to Granvis, which I'm guessing is their version of the Grand Canyon. And it's really irritating they put a bot, they put some guy right there to try and kill you. Now, we're gonna go for a laser beam this time, which is my favorite weapon. Why? That's why. It is amazingly powerful, as you can see. That oh, weird rabbit thing. Okay. And, oh, go oh, god, that was lucky. Right, the enemies in this level, you've got the weird rabbit things, you've got these things at the bottom, you've got the weird chair things, and then you've got the... Oh, I don't even know how to describe them, they look like weird shells. They split into a load of... oh yeah, those. Yeah, but the shell ones are the sort of the ones you've got to worry about. They split into a load of shells which cover up the entire, uh, screen, basically. There they are, see? And they just split and cover up the entire screen. And it's irritating, it sucks, and all that stuff. Anyway, folks, we're actually going to go for a break here. Screw you. And uh, we will be back for... Go away. Thank you. Pause. And I'll see you back here for the next part of... Sorry about that. 
of uh, Super Fantasy Zone. Celebrating 200 videos. Yay.